Hello. I wanted to show you guys the easy steps I take to brush and groom my doggy. This cutie pie here is Harry. He's a Woodle. So he's a mixed breed of Wheaton Terrier and Miniature Poodle. So his coat can get very matted if not brushed frequently. I'm still trying to get him to be secure and comfortable going to the groomers. But in the meantime, I have to brush him to get all the matted knots out of his curly hair. So this is how I do it. I also use a detangler, but I actually put it on the brush or comb so that it doesn't go directly on his skin. That's just my approach. And I'm always worried that spraying the detangler directly might cause burning or irritation, but it's always best to ask your vet for advice on this. So this is how I train him to like being brushed because he can get a little bit fidgety. Um, so step one, I actually encourage him to make friends with the tools, then reward him with treats. So before I even put the brush to his hair, I first let my dog get to know the tools, kind of like making friends with the brushes. And I also use several different brushes on him so that he gets familiar with all of them. I start by placing the brushes on the ground and setting the treats next to them. And I also put the treats close by, around and on top of it so he gets familiar with them. What this does is encourage him to investigate these new strange objects at his own speed and feel comfortable around them. Then step two, I spray the detangler on the brush or comb and lightly put the different type of brushes or tools on his body. Then I consistently reward him with treats. So Harry gets scared if I suddenly reach out to him with the brush. So usually I take the detangler and spray directly on the brush or comb and then very lightly touch his body with the edge of the bristles or the comb. And each time I reach out, I immediately follow with giving him a treat. Maybe I alternate it and I try to get him used to getting the treat as I brush him. That way he starts to get comfortable and not as stressed. And I'm always careful when brushing around his ears, legs and under his belly and genital area. Then step three, I start brushing him lightly, then firmly and reward him with treats. So when I notice that my dog Harry is comfortable with step two, I move on to actually brushing him a bit more. I start very lightly and alternate the strokes with a reward. I can always tell when he's starting to get more comfortable with the brushing. And I also keep on spraying the detangler on the brush to help it loosen up the matted knots because his coat can get really matted and it's pretty painful if I don't use a detangler. As he starts to relax and get more comfortable, I work my way up to pressing more firmly and brushing for several strokes in a row. Uh, this helps him to get more and more comfortable with the process. So Harry loves to be brushed, but if he hasn't been brushed for a while, he is a bit reluctant. So I have to find strategies to get him comfortable with the various brushing techniques. So for a smoother grooming routine, I found that it was important when he was a puppy to be consistent with brushing him so he gets a lot of practice and not be suspicious with the brushes. And I also brush him slowly and try not to pull on his hair and at the same time reinforce his experience with soothing words and non-threatening interactions. So I hope you find this video to be helpful. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Harry's channel for more content on his doggy adventures. Take care you guys. Bye for now.